We got the media team in there. Where the media Where team? Where the media team? We got content. TV's in the go. We got TV in the go. You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe to the home and your clubhouse TV. Let's get to the content. That's a good one. Yo, check it out. We got WAC 100 reacting to Elon Musk's robots and says he would definitely not be getting one. They're just put there to spy on us and to get rid of humans. So let's get to the content. Listen to what WAC talking about. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Run the content. In the block. Would you get one of them robots? The robo van. Oh, no. No, nope, hell no. <laughs> why why not. wouldn't you get one? Do you think the government is on board with them or what? I mean, first of all, you gotta be slow in your head, bro. Like I don't think people understand what these people is doing. Right? They they they're they're using the convenience and and the ooh we have one type shit, right? To distract you from really what it is. All right, the Tesla vehicles, we learned from the Julio Fulio situation. These things, even when off, is always recording. They're always recording, okay? They can start those things up, locate those vehicles, make a move whenever they want to. It's a fact, right? Okay, now they talking about we got some robots that can come in your house and help you assist you do days in your house. Okay, I'm looking down the street. So now we have vehicles that's recording that they can move and program to go wherever they want. And they're putting robots in the house. Next, they're going to come with the robot dogs for security. Okay, so all these things that can work for you can work against you. If it get to a point to where we got some shit going on in the world where people are saying, it's on, it's a revolt, nigga. They already in position to control you. They got a robot in your house that been scanning if you got firearms with you and what your house look like, your movement, your habits. They got cars that can activate and drive over here to shut down streets before the police even get there. And and it's recordings where they watching what you're doing, what you got going on. So they in your house in the street. You got robot dogs that they can program to nigga detain your ass, back you up against the wall. Because it gotta have something on it that, could, that they can dog and do something to you. Bro, they're pretty much positioning technology to where it turns us into the dog in the backyard. We control. We already got a phone that records when they want to and track us when they want to. Now the vehicles is recording everything on the street. They can start it up and tell that vehicle, go to this intersection, stop. Tell them, now we got two Tesla trucks blocking the streets. Then you got the robots inside the house that's surveilling and they're looking at what you're doing in the house. We're watching you. The satellites are still there. The cell phones are still there. So now you're moving and communication is being tracked. Hell no, I'm not letting, letting that shit in the house. Yeah, you just made a good-ass point. <laughs> oh, I'm not letting that shit in my house for what? What that could do that of if, if I made came in? If that's what I'm on. No. But they selling it with the, ooh, ooh, do you got one? And they gonna use, they gonna get the rappers and shit for free. So they can put it in the video and, and make everybody else gonna wanna go get it. No. Not happening. Yeah, that's where it shit get tricky. And uh, we were what just about talking about the business it. aspect of business aspect of what? what? What about that part of it is business for you? If you're paying thirty thousand for the robot, that's you spending money. If you're paying a hundred thousand for a Tesla truck, that's you spending money. If you're spending fifteen thousand for a robot dog, that's you spending money. What business aspect of any of those things? What does that do for you? One less person to hire. 
One less person what? To hire. I'd rather somebody, I hire somebody to come do a job and leave than permanently in my house while I'm sleeping. While they can program to do what they want to do to you. Just survey your house the way they want to survey your house. Whether you come to my house, do what you got to do and leave. Yeah, I'm talking about like, like more like factory work, you know, restaurant, well, that's whatever. Factory that's work. Like that, that's, that's factory work. That's factory work. That's a whole nother ball game. We talking about your personal, your home. Bro, even with that, their position, all them robots they putting in the Amazon, all they putting, pay attention, nigga. You look up, they are high in seven hundred. They putting seven hundred fifty thousand robots to a place replace a hundred thousand humans, nigga. When you look up and we outnumbered seven to one robots to humans, and yet we have no technology, we have no type of firepower, a gun designed and created to sell to us. That can stop that robot. Nigga, you better pay attention. Nigga, go I robot. Nigga, they did the movie 20 something years ago. At that point in time, we're no longer in control. They trying to make it where the planes got AI. We're not in control. At that point in time, the only thing gonna have some shit is the military, nigga. We're no longer in control. If they want to lock this down, nigga can go Fidel Castro on steroids on this nigga. Ain't nothing a nigga going to be able to do. Imagine a Tesla pulling up in front of your house in your driveway, stopping, recording. The robot already in your house. They seeing what your movement is. And they make an announcement on television. Can't nobody leave their homes. You go to the store. Everything in there is robots. They got them there. Wherever you go, that's where they at. They controlling everything. Nigga, they setting... I'm telling you, I'm glad I was born the year I was born because I'm going to die right when it's... I'm going to see a little bit of it. But I'm not going to have to experience it. Straight up. Everybody having little kids right now? All you can do is prepare them to have some type of common sense and and, 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 and and teach them some of the old ways of the land and hope and hope, nigga, you around long enough and got your wits to try to teach them how to survive and fight against this shit because it's going to turn against us one day. And that's not to say our people got to do it. You look up and robots and all this shit is 7 to 1 and China or Russia get a hold of a technology, nigga, that could turn that robot into a killing machine to choke your ass out in your house, then what? Or they could control our cars and just hit the gas all at the same time on highways, bridges, streets, then what? The probability rate alone is dangerous. They be like, okay, we do this, is you know, it's 10 million people, and the probability rate is maybe 4,000 could be injured by malfunction. Do you want to be one of the 4,000 that the, I, the AI robots doing the surgery on and malfunction and just start cutting your ass somewhere? Certain shit just shouldn't be done. You got to ask yourself, why are they doing it? They're going to say, oh, global warming. Oh, less pollution. Nah, motherfucker. They don't got to feed a robot. Nigga, they designing this shit to get rid of humans. They finna cut back on the human population. They don't got to raise cows and, and grow food. They don't got to do none of that shit for robots. We're overpopulated. Somebody go get that clip. That white boy way back in 2014, 15 was telling everybody they're going to come with diseases to kill our population. They going to do this. They going to do that. They going to do this. We're overpopulated. This amount of people got to go. Bill Gates. He told us that shit like 10, 12 years ago. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. TV. TV. So by now, y'all should know that Elon Musk 
recently unveiled Tesla's latest developments at the We Robot event featuring the CyberCab, an autonomous electric vehicle without a steering wheel or pedals designed for ride hailing and priced under 30K. The RoboVan or Rebuvan that Elon Musk called it. Another highlight can be used for cargo or mass transit. Also, must showcase Tesla's Optimus robot capable of household tasks expected to be available for 20 to 30K. Now, Tesla plans to begin unsupervised full surf self-driving operations in Texas and California in 2025 next year. Now, Wax says that he is definitely not getting one of the robots. Um, you heard what he said. They're just there to spy on you, let you know all your movements. They're going to connect to your iPhone, to your MacBook Pro, to your ring camera, and it's going to track all your movements, listen to all your conversations, lock you in your house till the police get there. You just never know what these th things is capable of. You know what I mean? Um, they're also used going to get rid of Americans, humans. You know what I mean? They're not going to need humans to work in fast food restaurants anymore. Getting rid of the truckers, the truckers, everything's going to be automatic. So understand what he's saying. Let me know what you guys think about this content in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop. I'm going to drop fresh new content. Subscribe to the media team so you always get exclusive WAC 100 content. As always, I certainly appreciate y'all checking out Clubhouse TV, and I'll see y'all on the next drop. I'm out, y'all. Peace.